Okay, so in this video, we have to convert this polar equation to rec rectangular and give a rough sketch. Doesn't have to be perfect, just uh, something rough. So, a solution. So, there are a couple of formulas that we should uh, keep in mind. So, first recall that x is equal to r cosine theta. That's a useful formula. y is equal to r sine theta. That's another very useful formula. And then r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. These formulas are fairly useful in doing these types of problems. So in this problem, we have r equals 5 sine theta. So we don't quite have any of these formulas. However, if you notice, we have 5 sine theta. We're missing an r. So what we'll do is we'll multiply by r. And the reason we're going to do this is because we want it to become r sine theta so we can use this formula here. So multiplying the left-hand side by r, that's going to give us r squared. Multiplying the right-hand side will give us 5r sine theta. So it's a trick. And again, the only reason we do this is because we're trying to get the y. Well, r squared is x squared plus y squared. And this is equal to 5r sine theta, which is 5y. Boom, there it is. That's it. That's the rectangular equation. Now, this is the equation of a circle. So if you were asked to graph this, one way to do it would be to complete the square. So you would start by subtracting 5y from both sides. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 5y equals 0. And then what you would do is you would complete the square in y. So the x stays the same. So you have x squared plus y squared minus 5y. And what you do is you take the coefficient of y, so negative 5. You divide it by 2, and then you square the result. This will become 25 over 4. So what you add to one side you have to add to the other. So you add that to both sides. Let's keep going. Almost there. So this is x squared plus this piece here. Because we completed the square, is called a perfect square trinomial. And it always factors. You just memorize it, okay? You put the y and the 2. And then what you do is you keep the sign always. And then you just divide this number by 2. Boom, there it is. And that's equal to 25 over 4. All right. And that would be uh, another version of the rectangular equation. And so with this version, you could do the graph. So the center here would be 0, 5 halves. Right? Because it's x minus 0. That's why there's no h there. This is your h and this is your k in the equation of a circle. r is the square root of 25 over 4. So r is 5 over 2. So what you would do is you would plot your center. So 0, 5 halves would be somewhere up here. And the radius is 5 halves. So if you go down 5 halves, it's just going to put you here. right? So if this is 0, 5 halves, and the radius is 5 halves, one of your points is down here. And then just do like a rough circular sketch, and that's good enough. It's supposed to be a circle. Again, that's if you had to actually uh, graph it. That would be the way to do it. Most of the time in questions like this, uh, depending on what you're doing this for, usually you just have to do uh, this part here. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Good luck and take care.